All right, I'm going to install the B and K from uh, Kreitz speakers, B and K sound course, B and K sound course in my chorus one. Look at that. That's beautiful work. Worth every penny. Okay, so Mike Kreitz sent this to me. He does these nice sticky things that you end up just having to drop it in the case and set it down and then give it a push and it's removable. <sighs> okay. That's it. It's in. These are all the cables. Input, woofer, ah, tweeter, mid-range. Okay, I'm going to tip it on its side. be easier. All right, so I put the speaker on its side and I... I did put the gaskets, uh, the original gaskets that came with the speakers back in place. Uh, I find it's a lot easier. So before I put any speaker in, I'm going to test it. This will be the third time I've tested. Eight point four, nice. The other tweeter was eight point two. All right, so you know, Clips did something really nice. They put a clip in on the side here to hold some of the wires. Um, Kind of convenient to be honest with you. So positive to positive. These are marked all right. Positive and negative. Positive. So I got these speakers on Craigslist for a really good deal. They needed work, which I was happy to do. For the price I got them. And all the upgrades, still under a thousand bucks. And I did the full crossover. I did at first get the kit with just the sound caps uh, from Kreitz speakers, but I decided some of the parts that I took out were 30 years old on that crossover network. And boy, they look, by the way, I'm using a screw gun, but I'm putting it on a really low setting. So it's not cranking them down tight. I'll hand crank those down tight later. I just want to get them in for now. All right, so now let's try the mid-range. Give that a test. Okay, that didn't look, right? 7.3, sure, we'll take it. So you'll notice this blue paint here, that's the positive side. I've tightened these crimps on all of them so that they don't come loose. This with needle nose pliers before I put them on. Uh, nice cutouts, which for their speakers. I install them. Oh, you dingo. Make sure that gasket is seated in the channel. You don't want to pinch it. The first speaker I did standing up. Not too bright. Okay, that was a little Yeah, these aren't set tight at all. All right, I screwed in the tweeter in the mid-range. Now I'm testing the woofer. Four, four ohm, perfect. Okay, when I got this, the Klipsch logo was on the top. You're supposed to flip these 180 degrees. Someone said every 10 years, some people say more often than that. So I'm gonna end up flipping it so that the uh, electronics here, spade terminals are on the Bottom. Get my get that cable on. There's the woofer. Oh boy, this thing is heavy. Woo! Careful. Again, this is marked positive and negative. Positive. Negative. 
Oh boy. Upside down. And the reason is speakers, apparently, I didn't know this, they sag. The woofers sag. Eh, this one doesn't look like it has any sag. So we'll screw this in. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do something. I'll do it from the back. I'm going to put some baffle material in the back. I'll do that through the back. All right, I got the woofer installed. I do want to say that when you put the speakers back on, you want to alternate in a star pattern, uh, tightening them just like you would a uh, rim of a, of a car a wheel before you put it on. So this is some baffling I'm going to put in here. Um, I did it on the other one. Just right in the back here. I'm not done. I'm going to I ordered some four inch port tubes to lengthen the port tubes. I'm just doing that for now. No big deal. All right, let's get the crossover. Now, when, when I took the old crossover off, this, these two leads had solder, uh, the crossover sitting right on top of here. And these two leads were coming up above the, um, solder. Uh, the board and they were soldered on. So there's actually two spots for you to nip them. Um, so let's go positive to positive, negative to negative. There's a little, it's like they wanted you to do this. It came with the screws and everything. It's already there. Yeah, my spades, I like to go right like that. Probably have something better to use than a pair of needle nose to do this, but that's what I have right here. Just tightening it. Wah! Tight. Oh, down tight. There's your connection right there to the banana plug. So we don't want that to be wonky. Oh, geez. That is tight. Don't do that. Bend the speed lug. Michael Kreitz would not be happy with me. Sorry about that, Mike. What's that saying? No harm, no foul? Okay. So, I did do the other speaker. Probably took me... I don't know, half an hour with some mistakes I made. Not mistakes, just things that weren't as quick. All right, so. Might help, you know, put it put it right side up. It does look better. There we go. Look at that. You can actually read it now. All right, we'll button this up and we'll get it going. <laughs> 